So what does it mean to be filled? Again, you're saying, what does this have to do, to do with Acts chapter 1 and all the way through the chapters to the end? It has everything to do with it because you're going to see how people were filled with the Holy Spirit and you saw the movement and the power of God. I love to hear the little baby. So y'all feel comfortable. I don't have any problem when I see that little sweet baby and hear her cry. It reminds me of mine when they were little or my grandchildren. So it doesn't bother me. So what does it mean to be filled with the spirit? It means to be consumed and under the control of the spirit. And I gave you a scripture there in Acts chapter 13, verse 52. And the disciples were filled with joy. And the Holy Spirit. Look at the next. I'm, I want to demystify this word filled. By the way, the word filled is not a theological word. It's not a mystery. It doesn't have a whole lot of theological significance. And you're going to see it in a minute because I'm going to show you definitions of being filled all throughout the book of Acts. Some of it was negative. Some of it was positive. Here's a positive one in Acts chapter 4, verse 31. When they had prayed and the place where they were assembled was shaken. And they were all what? Filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak God's message with boldness. Hallelujah. It's really suggesting very strongly that the Holy Ghost power is what brings strength and boldness. But look at this. I'm giving you. Uh, love balanced Bible teaching. And so I'm balancing this off. I said to you, to be filled with the Spirit is to be consumed by it and under the control of it. Look at Acts chapter 2, verse 13. But some sneered and said, they're full of new wine. They were discrediting the power of God that was descending on the day of Pentecost. As a side point, by the way, I don't care how much you love God and I don't care how much you are blessed by God, there's always going to be a naysayer. Always. We don't like it. We don't want to hear it. But it is a reality. They were, they're, they're saying that these people were drunk. Why? Because they said they're full of new wine. Look at Acts chapter 5, verse 3. Then Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled? There's that word filled. Filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and keep part or keep pack part of the proceeds of the field. You see where Ananias was being controlled. His heart was being controlled by his flesh. Acts chapter 5, verse 17 and 18. Those who belonged to the party of the Sadducees were what? Filled with jealousy. What happens when your heart is filled with jealousy? What happens when your heart is filled with envy? It is controlled by it. I remember many times that I've been married now 39 years. I've been many times, many times uh, in all the joy that we've had. I was filled with anger because some things that my wife said. And I know she was filled with anger for things that I've said and done. What does that mean? I was controlled by it. That's why the Bible says don't, let the, don't, don't, don't go to sleep on that. It's really not good. Don't let the sun go down on that anger. What does that mean? If you do, you'll be filled with it. And by the way, it opens the door for the devil. We're not ignorant of his devices. Amen. One of the best things, I'm talking to somebody about being led by the Holy Spirit. One of the best things you can do, which is an indication of you being filled with the Holy Spirit, is to deny your inclination and your emotions and do what the Word of God says. Sweetheart, darling, I'm sorry. I'm not over it yet, but I'm not letting the sun go down on my anger. I apologize. Let's talk about this in the morning. Well, you should apologize. <laughs> now, you know what that'll do. If, you, if, you, if you're not careful, you'll get filled up with anger again. <laughs> you'll be, here I did the right thing, and she's still going <laughs> to. You got to get control of it. <laughs> you got to get control of it. But how do you get control of it? 
by being filled with the Holy Spirit. I told you all this. I told you I got to give it to you again. I told my wife this because we were talking about I was talking about this class for a while. And I, I told you all I was uh, working at a large company and I was driving up uh, 294 uh, headed to I-80 and uh, uh, got on uh, my exit off of Ogden. And I was approaching the exit, and it was, I mean, I was singing the songs of Zion. Praise the Lord. And I loved to sing. I was actually practicing the song, and the song was giving me joy. Songs, uh, hymns, and spiritual songs making melody in my heart. I was happy. And I had a sun rooftop. Praise the Lord. I had it down. Man, it was just one of those mornings. It was 7 o'clock in the morning. It was just a beautiful day. And then the traffic jammed up. And my exit was only about a thousand feet ahead. So I pulled off to the emergency side. Because I was going to go around all this traffic. And I mean, the exit is right there. Why not? Well, the truck saw me and he pulled in front of me, blocked me. How many know all that song went out the window? All of it, all of it. I rolled my window down. He rolled his down. And I was getting, and the Holy Ghost, just as clear as I'm looking at you right now. And what are you getting ready to say? <laughs> and I looked at him, and he gave me four or five barnyard epithets. He gave me what he wanted to say. And the Holy Ghost just made me, feel, I would have felt so stupid. I pulled back into the traffic because I didn't have a choice because he blocked the way. And he said, now you see what it means to be filled with your flesh.